Unajua kwenda yeye. for today's Eucharistic celebration, Wednesday, 
21st of April 2021, the year of the Lord. During the celebration of this Holy Mass, we have the four intentions. Special intention for Martin Imboro, as he sees for his case C exams through the intercession of our Lady of Losali and all candidates, especially those from our parish. We wish them God's blessings and success. Special intention for Mercy, Dave, Peter, Han, James for a breakthrough in favor of Susan. Thanksgiving for Victoria and the family. Thanksgiving and special intention for Anilos Wanjiko and the family. Special intention for Petronila through the intercession of our mother Mary and Saint Joseph. Special intention for Susan Nyambura Muteru, who is undergoing surgery, praying for healing and the full recovery. Special intention for Victoria Okumu and all other children sitting for the exams. Today is the fifth in death anniversary of Jane Nyambura Njoroke. We ask the Lord to Rwanda and to strengthen our family, especially the husband. We pray for eternal repose of Tabitha Munene. And other intentions which we have in our hearts, we present them together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So, after Stephen was stoned to death, Saul, who became Paul later on, got the new spirit of persecuting Christians. And uh, together with his companions, they started scattering Christians from Jerusalem. And the Paul never knew that. Let alone, he will be encountering the listening Lord, and he will be made one of the people he was persecuting. Tomorrow we shall see the baptism of that the Ethiopian eunuch by Deacon Philip. And on Friday, we shall see the conversion of 74. So I invite you to read chapter 8, the one we start today, and also chapter 9 of Friday, so that we can see and also contemplate that there is nobody who has ever competed with God and emerged victorious. Today, Jesus is telling us we are very special because he is drawing us to himself so that he can present us to God and he's assuring us nobody will be lost. So my dear brothers and sisters here present, let us be happy and also always seek the attraction of Jesus. Let us be attracted by Jesus and if we are attracted by Jesus, we are going to live and enjoy our Christian commitment. Let us ask the Lord to forgive us and to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the present Mary, Virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may your might and God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray. And graciously ensure those you have adorned with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. They went about preaching the word, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On that day, a great persecution arose against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the Apostles. Devout men buried Stephen, and made great lamentation over him. But Saul laid waste the church, and entering house after house, he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to a city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the multitude, with one accord, gave heed to what was said by Philip. And when they heard him and saw the signs which he did. For unclean spirit came out of many who were possessed, crying with a loud voice. And many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was much joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm and the response is Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God, How awesome your deeds. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Before you, all the earth shall bow down, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, awesome his deeds among the children of men. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, says the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Today we read in John chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. At that time, Jesus said to the crowns, I am the blend of life. He who comes to me shall not anger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet you do not believe. All that the Father give, gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, we saw the brutal death which St. Stephen underwent. He was driven out from the city the way they did with Jesus, and he was stoned to death. He died while he was interceding for us, and he commanded his life to God, using the very ones of Jesus into our hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. So today, as you have seen yesterday, so who became for praying a very major law. And we know Saint Paul was trained as a lawyer. And apart from that, he was a policy. And the Pharisees could not allow any teaching which was contrary to their belief. We know many times in the Gospels they are at longer hands with Jesus, questioning him, doubting him, and so forth. So after the death of Stephen, now, St. Paul, we can say, was ignited. He got the new spirit. And uh, today we have been told, on that day, a great persecution arose against the church in Jerusalem. Remember, the disciples and other people are still scattered, I mean, staying there. And they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And when I was sitting there, and uh, listening again, when our lector or proclaimer really learned these ones, which I had already learned before, something came to my mind of what used to happen when I was a small boy. In those days, 
people from my place were planting millet. And uh, to plant millet, and uh, to harvest the millet, apart from planting and uh, winding, there is the great challenge. Millet attracts bands. And you know when bands they move, they move as one big family. So, very early in the morning, we were going to the shamba with endeavors and also catapults as boys because it became also kind of a sport. But uh, whenever we was scattering the bands, some from different north, south, and the east, we were not, uh, we realized these boys we were not succeeding. Because now those bands, they would like to meet as one family. So once you are chasing those ones which has gone south ones, those who are, who are, which has gone north ones, they start coming and again they land in the shamba. So we realized we were doing zero work. Until when we learned the trick as boys, without being taught by anybody, that we chase them on one direction, so that there is no bands which are scattered. Once they go in the same direction, then we were sure now they will reorganize, because there are also other shambas, uh, they will not come back to look for their family members. So it was not an easy thing. Now, lending this lending of today, the mistake was made. When the persecutors scattered the Christians to different towns, and that was now how the seed of Christianity spread very fast. Wherever they were going, they were not keeping quiet. They were announcing with joy and courage the message of the listening Lord. And now they left the apostles in Jerusalem. Do you think the apostles were asleep? So that is why Christianity spread very fast. So we have been told about Saul who was enthusiastic and who was really inspired, so laid waste the church. And he was courageous to enter from house to house. He interact of men and women and they committed them to prison. Remember there is no prison for God. And we know even when people like Peter and others were in prison, they were singing. So we will do the same later on, when he will become also a victim, because when he will be converted on Friday, then he will become a team prayer. He will not be fighting Christians. So the message is, the more they scattered these Christians, the more the Christians spread the good news. So tomorrow we are going to see Philip entering the chariot and uh, baptizing also an Ethiopian eunuch. And that Ethiopian comes and also spreads the word because he's already viewed with the Holy Spirit. So this is the joy of our faith. Remember, faith becomes effective only when it is shared. And that is our business as Christians. Even during this time of lockdown, don't lock yourself. Let your heart and your mind and your soul be opened. Share with your fellow Christians good passages. And uh, since we are in the modern world, 
where IT is playing a major role the way it is playing right now as I'm talking. Send good messages to you, our brothers and sisters who are at home. And I am happy because every day there are some Christians who are sending me beautiful messages, beautiful quotes from the Bible. And this tells me I am not walking alone. Yes, we are scattered because of this pandemic, but our hearts are not scattered. Our hearts are united in faith. So let us spread the word. Even a good song, Christian song, an encouraging song, you can send it to many people. Like what a friend we have in Jesus. You can type it and you send it. Especially when you say, we should not be discouraged. Let us take everything to God in prayer. And this is my wish for you. Because Jesus today is assuring us, no one who will get lost. He is telling us, he who comes to me shall not anger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. And then he continues telling us that he came with one mission, to gather and to protect the ones who are entrusted to him. On Sunday, you will tell us, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life because he loves his sheep. And Jesus is telling us to more or less the same thing. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And him who comes to me, I will not cast out. Jesus cannot lock the door for us. So we ask this grace of being courageous, the grace of spreading the good news, the grace of living this time with courage and the faith, because Jesus will never abandon us. And he tells us again, for I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The same thing he told Nicodemus, he is repeating to us. Yes, Jesus and our mission to liberate us and to journey with each one of us half to heaven. So let us not lose hope because Jesus is with us, especially this hard time. And Jesus continues telling us and encouraging us because he loves us. I should lose nothing of all that he has given me. So we are protected by the listening Lord. We are protected by the Lord who came to save all of us. And he tells us, even if that person dies, the good news is that I will raise him up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. Our journey from the day we were born, the day we were baptized, all our Christian commitment is to reach heaven. Yes, there are ups and downs. There are even zigzags, which are many. But Jesus is protecting us because he wanted to take each, one, each and every one to heaven. And there is no stop until we reach to that homeland where all of us, we are longing. So we are, what is remaining is only one thing to believe in Jesus, to trust in Jesus,
Remember what Pope Francis, not Pope Francis, John Paul II told us, and I sent that uh, image, that when we find difficulties in life, let us look at the image of Jesus, the image of the divine mercy, and tell Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in you, I believe in you, and you cannot abandon me. So may this period of Easter, which is combining the period of COVID-19 pandemic, let it be a period of renewal. Let this period make us more missionaries than before. And let us send the good messages. When you get a good passage, send it and also invite people to share it. Not destructive messages but in building messages. Because Jesus is waiting for us, Jesus is walking with us, and Jesus, Jesus is in our midst. And his mission is simple, to lead us to eternal life. And eternal life is the, the life with God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the life with the, all saints, the life with the angels. So let us not be discouraged, let us walk, even if we are persecuted in one way or another. Let our faith not be dormant. Let it be an active faith, and God is going to reward all our efforts. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. In glad we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time and by form to land you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and even brings our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamp once slain who lives forever. 
therefore overcome with the past con joy every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the every powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending aim of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the only Lord, the bond of all holiness. Make you only there for these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like it and you for, so that they may become for us the bond and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given now for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the blend of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have earned us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with the branches of our Pope, David Kamau, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy and all your people. Receive and bless all the intentions which are placed on this altar, and the many more intentions which are in the hearts of our faithful, wherever they are. Remember your servants, Jane Nyambur and Joroge, and Tavitha Munen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in an death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the present Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have raised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the present hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent you apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And in grace has been granted our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the listening Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. We take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in the mind and the body and our healing lament. Beyond the Lamb of God, beyond him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should end under my rule, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. before communion dear lord may i receive you in this communion with open arms and a loving contrite heart so that i may be filled with your grace for my good and your glory amen Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, create me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O oh, good Jesus, hear me, within thy wounds hide me, permit me not to be separated from thee, 
from the wicked for defend me. At the hour of my death, call me, and bid me to come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. The Lord has listened and has shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your error in this pleasant life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. So tomorrow is on Thursday, and Thursday is uh, de dedicated to the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Although we are not doing it with the exposition of Blessed Sacrament, Jesus is always present in the Blessed Sacrament in this church. So I invite you to pass here, to spend some time with Jesus, and also to be happy. Because it's only when we do these devotional prayers that we encounter our Lord in a very personal way. And if somebody would like also to receive the Holy Communion, then that opportunity will be there. So let us really walk with Jesus, and Jesus will never ashamed us. Now we take the prayer for the year of St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God, and trust and his only Son. In you, Mary placed our trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us too. Show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you together with your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and enjoy to announce the good news of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And have a blessed night. Same to you, Father. Oh,